I just wanted to have a chance to say that some of the campaign of fear that we heard about last year has proven to be completely false. Um, it, you know, it is atrocious. I recall a, a former provincial minister here calling immigrants to the legislature to tell them that they were all going to lose their ESL programs and they were all going to lose their employment link linking programs and they would no longer be able to sponsor people into the provincial nominee program. None of those things turned out to be true. They were all falsehoods. And I think it's totally irresponsible to create fear amongst newcomers who often don't have enough information to really be able to assess that accurately. So uh, I, I wish that had never happened. And I'm just here to say that Manitoba continues to receive a disproportionately large number of immigrants, a hugely disproportionate number of provincial nominees, and record levels of federal support for settlement services, which are being administered by Immigration Canada here in Winnipeg through wonderful organizations like this. Um, so, you know, perhaps we could always do more. Frankly, we've quadrupled our funding in this area. The government of Manitoba, as far as I can tell, spends about 2% of what we do on settlement services. Uh, if they want, to, if they take this area, this area seriously, they're always welcome to put more funds into it. There's been a lot of talk about Mrs. Melnick's um, problems with her own caucus and government, but very little about the substance of this issue. And the substance is that the, since the federal government began administering uh, these programs uh, 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 for Manitoba newcomers, um, we've actually increased the funding. And I think that's a good news story. So I just, I'm just here to say, with re, you know, respectfully, that political leaders should never try to uh, uh, frighten newcomers. Uh, we owe people, uh, I, think, I think those people are owed an apology. Those people who were schlepped down to the legislature as part of a political theater are owed an apology for having been so, 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 so terribly misled.